Kelly Shaw, Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I'm in uh, the South Sawtooth National Forest. Uh, this isn't too far from uh, Kimberly, Idaho. The, the woman was from Kimberly, Idaho, and her grandson was visiting her from out of state. And uh, she took him hiking uh, one of her place, favorite places uh, in Idaho, uh, Winstrom Hollow. And uh, her grandson was 17 years old, so he was nearly an adult. And uh, she was just barely into her 80s. Well, as the story goes, and, and uh, the date was uh, not very long ago, 2007 of August. Well, as soon as they pulled on Rock Creek Road, uh, off onto the dirt road uh, near there, she said that she just had a real eerie feeling the whole time. And uh, she didn't play on uh, or say anything to her grandson. She didn't want to ruin the day. And it was her, her grandson, and her eight-month-old uh, happy-go-lucky dog. Well, uh, they drive all the way back in there. And uh, as far as she said that she safely could uh, travel, and then they got out and started hiking, and uh, they were just there to hike, see nature, and they wanted to see some of the beaver dams in the area, so they got down to the creek and everything. And uh, then uh, they started feeling real uneasy, and she could smell some type of a stench, a strong animal order that she described it. And she brought it up to her grandson. She said, can you smell that? And he's like, no. He goes, can you hear that? And she's like, what? And he says, I keep hearing something banging uh, rocks and sticks and stuff together. They start, started hiking a little bit more and she thought that she seen something uh, silver-ish silver in color move through the trees and then she thought that she could hear voices and so did he. They started getting real uneasy and uh, she was about ready to say, you know, let's go and then the dog's hackles come up and it started growling and barking and her grandson said to her oh my god that's something staring at it across the river let's go and he turned to run and she's like don't act like prey let's just slow down you know so they kept slowly back to the car trying to not like act scared running like an animal would and uh, they could hear it following them and her grandson kept looking back and he says, it's following us. So they made their way back to the car, got in the car and started to drive away. And she's like, what did you see? Cause she didn't see it. And he says, it was big, it was huge. It was bigger than the, a, a man. Um, it looked like a person, but much bigger and hunched over and all colored in hair. And uh, he says it's most striking features uh, were its eyes. He says its eyes were uh, yellow and bright like the sun and they seemed to pierce right through him. He said they looked evil and full of contempt. Scared him to death. Um, they uh, they say that they think about this sighting every day, every day since. Um, really terrified her uh, grandson. He, he lives out of state so he shortly flew out of there uh, uh, not too long after it happened. Um, great Bigfoot sighting. Uh, in the beautiful southern Idaho, the, the southern sawtooths. I'm going to pick up the camera and show you guys around a little bit. I love Bigfoot siding areas. We saw a beaver dam up that way a little ways. We just couldn't get to it. We couldn't get to where we could film it for y'all, but... I doubt we're on the exact part of the river that it happened, but I know we're damn close, or the creek, whatever you want to call this. All right, well, we're gonna bring you some more Bigfoot sightings in the area. This is definitely a hot spot. So uh, t stay tuned, keep watching, we're gonna keep squatching.